Hello everybody. Uh, this is Abdullah speaking to you guys. Hello my family. World Speakers Platform. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing very well. I hope you guys are doing much. I can see. We are all keeping up. But the remaining time I'll try to basically... I'll try to basically give it the double time. I'll work double time on my live videos. Because I've been busy with my midterms and all the stuff the university had. It's been a great week. Um, however, this week was a little bit challenging because I had new things like my internship, registration, scholarships, ap applications, and all of that. Well, it's fine. Uh, tonight, I'll be speaking as a speaker about my live video, which is about an introduction of my last message. What would it be as part of our challenge? Um, you guys know what it is. Yes, you know what it is. It is what it is. You either discover yourself or you don't. I reckon the only possible way to get through this life is by discovering yourself. What do we mean by discovering ourselves? That is a grand question. That is a grand, 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 grand topic. A grand area of life. Who we are. What are our interests. What do we want to do. How do we want to live. You see, your lifestyle is what is uh, what I mean by discover yourself. If you are living a totally wrong life, at the end, you are not gonna blame your families, you are not gonna blame your friends, you are not gonna blame nobody. The only one who is going to be blamed is you, me, our souls. Life is the time you have left on this earth, which each day you wake up, each day you see that light of the sun shining giving you that energy energizing you that is a great opportunity only if we know only if we realize only if we value it up to its level so today i'll be speaking about how we should and we must how we can get to discover ourselves we all have interests we all like have different interests from one another now if I have a friend for example it is not necessarily that I should match my friend it is not rational it's not rational to say this is not a rational at all it's not rational that you have to go with the society you say you see like this is like a collective I would say a collective thought here that I gained from you guys from this amazing family world speakers platform um, you see, everybody is coming here to basically share their ideas, establish their businesses, create their own things. And basically through this collective, uh, you know, um, sharing, this collective uh, thoughtfulness that we have here, uh, we, basically, we basically came to know better about ourselves. We became like speakers, literally speakers. Today we are all speakers. So, what is happening right now? Hey, how you doing, uh, Katie Robinson? Nice to see you. I hope you're tuning in right now to my video. Um, yeah, so continuing on, continuing, on, continuing on with my with my topic tonight. The the journey of the discovery of the self to me is a grand question, one that depends on how we value ourselves. Uh, I think some of us are are really lazy in their lives i would attribute the adjective uh let's say that the trait lazy to some of us considering myself as one of these people now if you found yourself that you are aware that you are caring that you are conscious of the reality of which you are living but you can't change it you still have this mind this 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 mind telling you this voice in your on your mind going through and telling you um Yes, and I am here as well, Katie. <laughs> nice to see you. Um, 
nice to see you. Um, so if you have this voice inside of you telling you each time you must do something, you must take care, and you just subconsciously, like, you know, let's say you basically identify that, but you, you just stay there hanging on and I tell you this, you got to wake up from now on. Bring a paper and a pen and try to discover yourself. Writing for me is one of the tools in my life that basically gave me the ability to discover myself. It gave me the ability to motivate myself. It gave me the ability to, like, push myself onward, further and further. And if you look at writing, it is basically a, a reflective uh, way of, you know, ourselves to just basically try to understand better how we think. With each idea you express, it, it, is a, it is absolutely certain that something will be triggered in your mind that would basically, you know, energize you, that would basically give you a hint about who you are really. So that's what I mean exactly by writing. The grand question now is still, how can we reform ourselves to the better? I mean, how can we change our lives to the better? How we can basically, you know, discover ourselves? I think each of us have dreams and goals. Like I was, I was today tuning into the interview with uh, Terry. Absolutely, our unconscious is a much greater driver in our lives than our conscious mind. Absolutely, I tell you that, Katie, that's absolutely right. Uh, but only if we, only if we, only if we, like, absolutely put this into reality. Only if we acknowledge the fact that our subconscious mind is more powerful than our conscious mind. If you look at... Uh, the interview with Terry, he was giving us a lot of advices uh, and he said you should never give up on wh whatever you want to do. Um, I think that uh, for me, for example, I get frustrated sometimes when I'm doing, you know, when I'm seeking something and then I fail. And that, that frustration sometimes might affect me to a point where I basically just, you know, give it up. And I, and I realized from today on that I must change this. This is not the determination that I'm speaking of. This is not who I want to be. So, referring to your point, Katie, uh, yeah, the unconscious mind can be can be energized, can be can be brought to life, if I may say here. You see, we all have an intrinsic power within ourselves, within our souls, within the intrinsic of, we, of who we are, really. Now, if we, if we go deep into ourselves and truly speak to the voice that is telling us, you got to do this and do this and do this, but yet I'm just hanging on there, I'm just staying on there, I'm not doing anything. If we manage to hack that voice and tell it exactly, yes, this I must do, this I must acknowledge, this I must implement, this, my, this I must comply with, at that point, I think we will be in a position from of a control of controllability. We will be in a position of control over our lives, and that's where the change starts. That's where you become able to keep with your objectives and plans and dreams. You you you, you see you, you you say to yourself, okay, I see this, I see that, I see this. I want to be this. I want to be that. I want to be that I want to change this to this, I want to change this to that, I want to change uh, that to this, or and so on. So that's where it, it comes from. Uh, so by saying this, I spoke on a previous live on my uh, personal page, uh, where I basically came to uh, identify the transformation of the self, the reformation of the self, of which the end result would be, you know, you attaining all of your dreams and objectives. And that I said also that happiness is a constant state. Uh, so basically today I want to refer to that video again and I say happiness is a constant state. You can maintain your happiness as a determination. You just don't drop. You see, this is like the line of happiness. If you do something that is against your, uh, let's say, objectives and dreams that you are following, you, you will drop a little bit. And you try to come back. 
and then you drop, and then you try to come back. Now this is where the mo motivation and the determination uh, plays the most important and the most imperative role. Let's say that you are basically trying to keep up on this line, and you drop, you go, you drop. So you realize that your life is basically a set of ups and downs. I was discussing this one with one of my friends here in the university uh, hostel, and he basically agrees with me that it's ups and downs, ups and downs. But here is the thing. I am here speaking as a speaker, not, re not really as a coach. But I am in a position to say, okay, I, I really want to be uh, a coach, a motivational coach for some people, and in the future I'm willing to be a speaker. So here is the thing. You see, most of us acknowledge the fact that we go up, in ups and downs, but we don't think in a way that we are capable to control these ups and downs. We can stay in a position of uh, peak all the time if we manage to get ourselves into that. I'm telling you this because I realized this, I, I came to change this, but I, I, I realized that my life keeps dropping a little bit and then back. Staying for a certain period of time then drops a little bit and then goes back. So I told myself, what is wrong? Something must be deeply uh, changeable. If I manage to get to this thing and I change it subconsciously, somehow, somewhere, some, then I must be on the track. And that track will lead me to success. That track will lead me to happiness. That track will lead me to self-discovery, of, uh, of which I'm speaking right now. Uh, we have all felt that sometimes it is not enough to exert willpower. We know something is not good for us, uh, and yet our unconscious is driving it, not our conscious, which is very hard to fight against. Uh, hi, Asiya. It's nice to have you here. It's a pleasure, and I must say that you are one of the most empowering <laughs> people in this group. Thank you very much. I'm glad that you're watching me. Uh, Katie, I agree with you. Yes, we all uh, we all basically experience ups and downs. We know something is not good for us. Yes, and yet our con unconscious, uh, unconscious, uh, yes, let's say unco unco uh, unconsciousness is driving it. It's not our conscious, and that's why I'm trying to uh, build a bridge of connection here to tell you we should control this unco unconscious mind. I think that most people who are successful. Uh, in this world have achieved a certain degree of uh, exerting their power, their will, on their unconsciousness and on their unconscious uh, mind. Uh, not our, uh, un yes, exactly, it's not our conscious, like I was telling you, I experienced the, the same problem with you, Katie, so, which is very hard to fight against. Well, it is very hard to fight against, but if you manage to keep yourself in a constant uh, uh, Triggering of your uh, ideas, of your will, I must change, I must reform, I must discover myself, I must deeply discover who I am, I must keep on the track, I must sit down and write my objectives and dreams and keep on them, then I think you will came to understand yourself better. And uh, just consider that there is nothing impossible in this life, there is literally nothing impossible, absolutely nothing is impossible as long as you have the will. Uh, so. I think self-discovery -disco uh, depends on this point. Okay, so now I will try to refer to another point. Uh, Asiya, you are welcome. <laughs> okay, so um, self-discovery to me, if I was going to leave this world, this air, this life, the last thing I would advise people is to say, Discover your life and reform it for the better in order for you to achieve your happiness, in order for you to unleash the real potential you have within yourself, and in order for you to attain the success and the fulfillment that you are seeking to find. And from there you can find the psychological happening, uh, happiness, sorry, the psychological happiness, you can find the fulfillment of all your life, and from there you can... Uh, basically live the life that you are really setting your sights uh, upon. One of the things that uh, that is very fascinating to me is the fact that most of us are locked, yes, most of us are locked in this cage, which is society. 
uh, I'm speaking here in a positive manner of the society because if you look around you, the society is not really, sometimes is not motivating. The language in which people are speaking in the society is not motivating sometimes. We are dragged behind our mates, behind our uh, friends, our comrades, if I may say here. And that's another point. Uh, absolutely, she is an inspiration. Uh, Asiya is an inspiration. <laughs> Warren is an inspiration. <laughs> I sent him this uh, salute. Uh, so, we are dragged behind the people who are uh, our friends, who are close friends of us. You know, I think most of us have heard the, the, the popular saying and belief that you are the... You are the moderation... Uh, sorry, you are the average of the people around you in this world. Of your friends, of your colleagues, of your mates, of your friends, of your best friends. That's a reality. Now, if you have, like, uh, like uh, in, some, uh, in one of the interviews that we had today, I think it was the one with the theory, um, he referred to people being dragged by other people. And I'm building up on that idea to say that if we really want to master our psychologies, we must master our relations because that's where it stems from if you look at your psychology it's the average of the people you are surrounding yourself with if the people around you are are good are let's say optimistic you will eventually become an, 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 an optimistic person and you will believe that you can achieve things that you wouldn't otherwise believe that you are capable of achieving absolutely Asiya, yes, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with, absolutely. So, basically, in order for us to change this mentality, to discover ourselves, I think we need to change the people around us. We need to take out the mask that we are wearing. And I tell you this, we need, we absolutely are in a mass need to take out the masks of the people surrounding us because these people, these exact people wear masks that are fake absolutely fake masks, why? if you see, you, we all have friends, some of our friends are truly good, truly positive I wouldn't say they are totally negative at all in any way but the thing is, the reality of it is that you have a traits and characteristics that are different from your friend and there is no two people in this universe exactly the same. So if your friend has, an, uh, uh, let's say, traits that are truly uh, different from yours, that will affect you not only on the short term but on the long term and that's where the problem comes from. It might also give you a vibrations, like you guys say, vibes, negative vibes, and you keep li living with these vibes. Why? Because you didn't take out the mask of this guy. In another case, this guy might appear to be a positive guy, but deeply he is a negative guy. He is not willing to help you, and he's basically just, you know, standing there telling himself, yeah, what, what, what this guy wants to do. I don't want him to do this, I don't want him to do that. Maybe, not necessarily he is, you know, evil, he is jealous. No, 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 no. But some people are born this way. We need to know that we all are born in different ways. Some of us succeed in changing their lives for the better. Some of us stay the way they are, with all respect to everyone. So we need to take out this mask of all the people around us in order for us to discover who we are. If we take those masks out, then the reflection of these vibes will become more clearer to us. Um, the affections that we get from people will definitely affect our personality longer, the sooner or the later. And I tell you, the most important thing is to uh, focus on your long-term goals, on your long-term happiness. And that's why I think we need to discover ourselves. Okay, uh, now moving on to, other, to another point that I think is truly um, important and imperative here. Uh, well, it is basically the reality that this mind has to be energized and has to work. You see, we have, we all have brains and 
we are we vary in the degree we use uh, in the degrees of using our brains but uh, one intrinsic and important factor that leads to self-discovery is the criticism self-criticism self-criticism if you self-criticize yourself if you criticize yourself in, in a positive way each time you do something you look at yourself and you say why did I do this what are the results what we are the consequences did it affect me somehow somewhere in, on a negative way and it, did it hit me then you will understand that what you are doing in your life always okay always will push you deep down or up you know um, I, I remember that uh, Warren Ryan was uh, on one of his inspirational speeches that I'm really uh, fascinated with uh, from last week. He basically said that this mind is like a software. Anything you put down there on that software will affect, definitely will affect you. So, in order for you to discover yourself, I think you need to be criti criti critical of yourself. You, you should be a, someone who is very critical, uh, has this critique ability to criticize themselves on a positive way. If you criticize yourself on a negative way, you will never succeed on realizing your uh, inner, uh, let's say, reality, your inner true person. So each thought you think of you generate will have an effect on your um, mind. The, unconscious, the subconscious, the unconscious and the conscious minds are all going to be affected by these thoughts that are generated by the thinking process. And if you think positively, uh, if you think of your life in a, in a positive way, it certainly is going to benefit you uh, somehow. Because you see, most of the people out there who are sad, they keep thinking in a way that, that drags them down, uh, down the line of happiness, down the, and, and by the time you realize, you will realize, you will realize that these people are basically losing the control. They are literally losing control. So I want you to think in a positive way that uh, keeps you rising. The more you rise, the better your commitment. Feel it. Feel what you have made, it, because only when you feel it that you then would be able to realize that yes, I have done this, therefore you receive the sense of commitment to yourself, a sense of satisfaction, and you keep going. You build on this. Stop here. Until you complete the line. Um, so, uh, I think uh, I will refer to uh, other points of which I really don't remember right now. Um, but I hope you guys benefited from this video. What is my last message when I leave? Discover yourself for the better. Transform yourself in order for you to become who you want to be, to do what you love, and to become the true potential of you. That is the only way that you will love yourself, you will appreciate your life, and you will become who you are. So this is Abdullahi speaking. I hope you guys have a great night. And with that being said, I hope to see you on another video. Thumbs up. Thank you for the tuning in, and I hope to see you next time. Peace!